So here we are in Seattle. We just finished seeing the Avengers at the uh, Regal Cinemas 16 you see across the street. This is right across the street from the Hyatt Grand where we were staying. And uh, then I noticed this place here, Gameworks. Kind of cool. And uh, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was some kind of store or something like that. Like a toy store or something. But uh, so I went inside and it was in fact very much like Sega Palladium, which I believe most of which are shut down nowadays, if I remember correctly. Did Gameworks buy out Sega Palladium? Are they associated with them? Because there were a lot of Sega arcade machines in there. And uh, to be honest, I, I was already in there it was, and I know, I'm sorry, I should have taken you in there with me to have a look around. I don't know, it's just me personally, but I have this thing, just walking around by myself as a 43-year-old male, <laughs> I felt a little bit out of place. Now, of course, you, you guys all get it, you know, we love our arcade games and such, but if I were to kick it up a notch and walk around with a video camera recording all the games and the little kitties and stuff like that, I would just feel real like a perv walking around, so <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Sorry, guys. But that's uh, Gameworks there in Seattle, and uh, yeah, it's like Sega Palladium. Uh, it's been years since I've been one in a Sega Palladium, which I was in in Toronto when I still live there. But uh, that's it, just a little quickie there for you. Gameworks, any of you guys check that out? And also, on a bus ride, uh, we went to visit uh, Bruce, Lee, Bruce and Brandon Lee's uh, cemetery, uh, memorial plot in the cemetery there. For Bruce and Brandon Lee and uh, I had noticed on the bus there was uh, an ad for something called I think lobster games or lobster gaming something like that but it had a picture of a PlayStation 2 and like uh, I think a Dreamcast and, and uh, uh, an original Xbox and it said buy sell and trade uh, classic video games and unfortunately on our schedule I wasn't able to make it there but Good to know, they have a website online, so I'll put a link to that. Uh, you know, so here I am in Seattle, and it was just cool to see this presence of classic gaming to an extent, which we don't get in our small town of Kelowna, BC, so that was cool. So that's just a quickie for you, something a little minorly uh, gaming related. And uh, yeah, I just seen Avengers here at the cinemas in regular old 2D. And man, that was freaking amazing. I love that movie. Very well done. Uh, people want to nit nitpick and nitpick, but I just don't see uh, Marvel action superhero team movies getting much better than that one. It had everything. All right, this is Rob Maximum RD signing out and talk to you later. I'm going to have a walk around my last day here in Seattle. All right, so Maximum RD back again. I decided maybe I will, maybe I will walk inside of Gameworks, which as I said, looks like an old Sega Palladium type of place. Uh, I don't know if Gameworks bought them out or whatever. Uh, I was really hesitant to do this as, again, 43-year-old man walking around a place like this. Just looks kind of pervy. And for those of you who go, oh, geez, whatever, Rob, I'm sorry, but if I saw some 43-year-old uh, dude walking around with a video camera in an arcade with kids running around, it would look pervy to me. So, will I do it anyways? Maybe. Quite possibly. We'll see. Well, here I am inside the front entrance. There you see good old classic Pac-Man. Uh, I did ask an employee here, young fellow. Uh, I said, hey, I'm from Canada visiting and uh, this reminds me an awful lot of Sega Palladium. 
I said, did this used to be called Sega Palladium? And he's like, no, this, is, this has always been Gameworks here in Seattle. But uh, it is, in fact, owned by Sega, according to him. So I said, hey, cool. Gameworks Seattle. So, yeah, I'm going to walk around and record some stuff. And if I look pervy, I look pervy. If they tell me to put the camera away, I'll put the camera away. And then maybe I'll go to the top floor where uh, the kids aren't allowed and have a drink or something. All right? So we'll check it out. If I make any sudden change or the camera stops or the scene switches, it's just so I don't uh, appear too uh, conspicuous. Got some Daytona USA, Daytona 2 USA. Not many playing at this time. We got a Sega Hummer game. Got some good old ice hockey. Ice hockey. Uh, God, what do they call this again? Air hockey. Uh, I guess with a little bit of a digital enhancement. Here. Always fun. Let's take a look at this Sega Hummer game. Pretty cool, I don't know. Is this state of the art nowadays? Really doesn't seem that much different uh, than the last few uh, arcade games from the last few years. But uh, I don't know, it's kind of neat, I guess. Maybe graphics just don't get too much better. Or maybe we're just spoiled by uh, PC games nowadays, who knows. So we've got Midnight. Three. I guess it's like, uh, oh, Namco. Maximum two, Midnight Three. It's pretty cool. Oh, here we got some uh, Harley Davidson cycles. A couple guys competing here. Pretty cool, pretty interactive. Yeah, I won't play any of these myself because I just suck at them anyways, but oh, here's an old Sea Wolf game, the next mission. So we got cool car up there. Yeah, just walk around, you know, see some employees or whatever. Almost like a Plinko type of game. Price is right. Safe cracker. These are more your light, basic, uh, game of chance type things. Huh, let's get back to the arcade game, shall we? <laughs> Racing zone, maybe I should go up there. Check. Oh no, I guess this is your racing zone. It's that game I was looking at earlier. De oh, Dead Heat. Is that Dead Heat? Guess we're just waiting for a race to start. Uh, here we have the Fast and the Furious. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can get into demo mode here. Come on, let's see some action. I don't know, maybe there's no attract mode. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
fast and the furious. Check out some four wheel drive action here. It's like, like a giant monster type of mech tank game. up and head on out and Rob Maximum already out. Talk to you later. Oh look it's Frogger. Some kind of weird variation on it. Alright that's it. Ah, got some time crisis. No one playing it but got time crisis 3, time crisis 4, South Park pinball. Cool. Little metal slug. Five. Neo Geo action. Raiden fighters. Schmuck. Check it out. I'm on the top floor now. So two levels. Sega Strike Fighter. It's pretty sweet. Put you right in the cockpit of a fighter jet. FA-18E Super Hornet, the nation's newest strike fighter. Cool. There's that same car I showed you from below. Check that out. Ah, here's some old school stuff. The good old Galaxian. Missile Command. Frogger, Robotron, and sadly no one appreciating the classics. <laughs> oh, we're not too busy. It is a Sunday after all. Police trainer. What's this? Oh, it's a LA machine gun. Well, that was kind of cool. It's a huge arcade game here. Raising Storm. Nice. Ah, oh, good old Terminator Salvation. Ah, oh, damn. It's not working. That's a shame. Terminator, my ass. Can't even... Doesn't even work. Oh yeah, there's some good classic House of the Dead 3. House of the Dead 2. Ghost Squadron, Ghost Squad. Prime, Primeval Hunts. Cool. What's this? Let's go jungle. Lost on the Isle of Spice. Alright. It's like a, almost like a, I don't know. Almost like, I was going to say Jurassic Park, but I see more giant insects than I do dinosaurs. And there's a classic. Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. Oh man. And the display's not on. Oh man. That sucks. Oh well. At least you can still see it. It still exists. There you are, Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. Too bad it's not working. Sad, sad day for the classics. Alright, what else are we going to see? Oh, there's Rambo. Wow. It really is Ramble. Another Sega game. So yeah, it's not not too much of a surprise. This place was owned by Sega. And 
At least here in Seattle, there's still arcades going, apparently. Good to see. And Jurassic Park 3. Right there. Sweet. Dead Storm Pirates. That was kind of cool. That one's a Namco game. Oh, here we got a Terminator Salvation working. And up on the big giant screen. Look at that. Got that going. Nice. Giant, giant screen. Go big or go home. Drum Pretty good. Some Virtua Tennis 3. Cool. And that's it. Uh, okay, I'm going to end it here. I think I've... Uh, done the place justice. I've done you guys justice, showing you uh, quite a bit here. Time for me to go have a beer. Hope you enjoyed it.